Let's now go to Ejiso in the Ashanti region where the embattled former president of the Ghana Football Association, Kusin Yantichi, together with eight others, have successfully filed nominations to contest as parliamentary candidates of the new patriotic party in the constituency ahead of the upcoming by-election following the demise of the sitting member of parliament for the area, Dr. John Kumar. There's more in the following reports by Ashanti regional correspondent, Abdul Basset. The battle for replacement of the former member of parliament for a dressal constituency in the Ashanti region, Dr. John Ampuntuya Kuma, began with many expressing interest by filing nominations to contest for the vacant slots as the parliamentary candidate. At the close of filing of nominations on Thursday, nine people out of 12 who initially shown interest were able to pick and submit their nominations from, out of which four are women and five men. The aspirants are Dr. Evans Dria, former president of the Ghana Football Association, Kwesin Yantichi, former second vice chairman for Edreso Constituency, lawyer Kwabuna Boating, lawyer Poshia Echampon Abronye, the Ashanti Regional MPP Women's Campaign Manager, Akosuya Abna Pokuya Amwa, the presiding member of the Edreso Municipal Assembly, Helena Mensa, the former assembly member for Edreso Onye, Klinsman Kakari Mensa, Mamiya Boaje, and former assembly member for ACA Nimpong, Aaron Prince Dria. Some of the aspirants spoke to the media after successfully filing their nominations. I believe that the knowledge, experience, and the links and contacts that I acquired during that period of stewardship will be ported into a episode so that we can transform the episode and take it from one level to the other. In terms for the man who cannot see the ultimate, that person becomes a slave to the immediate. So they should look at the future and vote for those that will be able to help. And when they are doing that, they should vote for Dr. Evans Dia, who will come and continue the legacy of our very good brother, Dr. Jonah Ponte Kuma, and he will be able to continue. Because I've carried myself very well, and I think I will be the right person to, to continue the job of Konkuma. So I don't think that one is enough. Because when you carry yourself well and you find out that people want you, it's you that they want, then you have to go forward. And I'm moving forward with them. I have new water they won't come here. But once such opportunities come, because they have money, then you see them trooping in, coming for the position. And it is not helping the party. The grassroots are not happy. That is why a grassroots man, Honorable Aaron, is in contesting and is going to win this race to teach every police station executive member so that when you are working in future you know that this party rewards hard workers that is my point and it is going to happen the election committee of the party in the address of constituency has slated saturday april 6 for vetting of parliamentary aspirants while the following week april 13 would be the day for the parliamentary primaries to elect a candidate for the party for the by-election all right